this video we're going to look at the probability scale. So here's the probability scale, it goes from 0 to 1, and 0 is impossible, so something that's got no chance of happening at all is impossible. Uh, something that has got an even chance, so something like whenever you flip a coin getting ahead, that would be an even chance, so that's 0 0.5. Anything in between these two is unlikely to happen, uh, so if it's just below even chance, it's you know, slightly un unlikely to happen, yet if it's nearly down here, it's very unlikely to happen, so something down here could be like winning the lottery, nearly impossible, but not quite impossible, so down down there. Um, something, that, uh, for instance, here could be um, it being rainy on a summer day, it's unlikely to happen, me in England actually might be on up here somewhere. Okay, um, anything past even chance, so to above 0 0.5 would be likely happening, and something that's good probably if one is certain, so definitely going to happen. So let's consider where some events would be on the probability scale. Okay, so first of all, if you were asked uh, what would the probability be of getting a head or a tail when flipping a coin, we're getting a head or a tail is either one of the two options, so you're going to have to get one of them, so that's going to be certain. Okay, getting a head or a tail is certain whenever you flip a coin. Okay, next. The 20th of July being a sunny day. Well, given that July is a summer month, it's probably quite likely to happen, so it's going to be up here somewhere. We don't know whereabouts exactly, and maybe we want to have to look some of our data to find out what's the, you know, the exact probability, or, you know, a good estimate. Uh, but it's probably quite likely to have happened, and, okay, uh, the 20th of July being a summer day, or a sunny day, so it's going to be up here somewhere. Okay, another one. Uh, what about tomorrow, beginning with the letter P? Well, Given today's Sunday, uh, it's going to begin with an M, Monday. Uh, but actually, no days begin with the letter P, so it's impossible. There's no chance that the day is going to begin with the letter P. Uh, winning, the uh, winning the lottery? Well, winning the lottery is very, very unlikely, so it would be just to the right of impossible. So it's maybe somewhere about here on the scale, so right beside impossible, okay? Uh, but winning the lottery is very unlikely, so it's going to be down there somewhere. Okay, and finally, a baby being a boy... Well, given that babies can either be boys or girls, the chance of it being a boy is going to be 0 0.5 or an even chance. Okay, so let's do a question which is based upon the probability scale. Uh, and because the question says to use the words in the probability question, we're going to have to use these words instead. Normally you would give your answer as either a decimal number or a percentage or a fraction, but if it tells you to use words, then that's what you're going to have to do. Okay, so the word options we've got are impossible, so zero, unlikely, somewhere in this region, Evens, well, even chance, 0 0.5, likely, somewhere up in this region, and certain, which is going to happen, which is 1. Okay, for each of the following, each of the events below, write down the word from the list which describes this probability. So a fair coin landing on heads. So heads, well, heads or tails, so it's going to be even chance. Okay, so evens from the list, evens. Okay, and make sure you're choosing it from the list, okay? Don't put down 50, 50 or 0 0.5 or anything. It's got to be from this list of words. Picking a red ball at random from a bag that contains 20 red balls and 3 black balls. Well, because there's a lot more red balls and black balls, it's going to be quite likely you're going to choose a red ball. So it's going to be up here somewhere, okay? So it's going to be a likely chance. Likely. Okay, and finally... Throwing the number 8 on an ordinary fair, uh, fair 6 added dice. Well, an ordinary fair 6 added dice would go from 1 to 6. So an 8 would be impossible 0. So impossible. Okay, the next question then, it's got a spinner. And the spinner is spun once. Okay, and the spinner has got blue, red and yellow. It says the probabilities of the three events are marked on the probability scale below. So we've got the probabilities, you can see these arrows, and you've got A being the probability, or the A being the spinner lands on blue, B being the spinner lands on green, and C being the spinner does not land on red. Okay, so just to keep in mind, there's the probability scale there as well. Okay, so let's first of all go through these. So the probability lands on blue. Well, there's three sections, and blue is one of them. So suppose the probability of getting a blue would be one out of three, or one third, one third. Okay, well, one third is going to be down here somewhere, so it's going to be unlikely. It's unlikely to get blue, because there's two other ones and one blue. So A, blue, is going to be here. Probably lands on blue is going to be this one, because that's impossible, that's unlikely, that's likely. The chance of it landing on blue, because there's only one blue out of the three sections, it's going to be unlikely. B. The spinner lands on green. Well, there's no green on the spinner, so therefore it's going to have to be impossible here. Impossible. C. The spinner does not land on red, so it does not land on red. So here we've got two that are not red. We've got blue that's not red, 
and yellow that's not red. So that's two out of the three. So two out of three is quite likely actually. So it's gonna be there, C. And finally, this time we've got a standard dice is thrown once. So we've got the dice one to six thrown once. And the probabilities are A, it lands on an odd number. B, it lands on a number show a number greater than two. And C, it lands on the number five. Okay, so let's consider what these probabilities are. Actually, let's just look at the probability scale as well. We've got 0 to 1, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sections. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that means that this is going to be 1 sixth. This is going to be 2 sixths. This is going to be 3 sixths, or even chance. 4 sixths. 4 sixths. 5 sixths. And 6 sixths, or 1. Okay, so it says the dice lands on an odd number. Well, an odd number, it says uh, an odd number is going to be, well, 3 out of 6, or 1 half. So that's going to be this one here. B, the dice lands on a number greater than 2. So the numbers greater than 2 are 3, 4, 5, and 6. So this probably is going to be 4 out of 6, 4 sixths. And finally, the dice lands on the number showing, or the dice lands showing the number 5. Well, there's only one 5 out of the 6, so that's going to be one 6, getting the 5. So it says, label the arrow that is showing, the uh, showing the, which event it represents. So this is 4 out of 6, which would be this one, the dice showing a number greater than 2. So B is this arrow here. It then says, mark uh, and label the scales to show the probability of the number 2 events. So A was a half, so 3 6 A. And C was showing the number 5, well the number 5 was 1 out of 6, so that would be there, which is C. So there we go.